starting off with these tofu sausage breakfast sandwiches. They are 357 calories each and 29 grams of protein. They're pretty simple to make. We're going to start off by making the sausage. Once you make the sausage, the whole thing's pretty simple. I use this sprouted chickpea flour from Thrive Market and basically all these recipes today. What we're going to need here is some textured vegetable protein which I get from Thrive Market as well. It's the Bob's Red Mill brand. We're just going to activate that with some hot water and then add in all of our wet ingredients. So what we're adding in here is some liquid smoked soy sauce and then we're also going to be adding in some spices like nutritional yeast, some salt, paprika, and a little bit of fennel and some other sausage type spices. We're just going to stir together all our wet ingredients. If you want you can add a little bit of maple syrup into this. When I make the pack and just eat them on the side. I don't put maple syrup in it because I like to dip them in maple syrup, but if you want it to have more of a maple syrup flavor, just add in a little bit. And then we're gonna add in our oats, our chickpea flour, and just combine all of that until it looks like this. So I do this in my air fryer since I live in a tiny house, I don't have an oven. I just put some parchment paper in there and then roll these into little balls and just press them into patties. Since these are oil free, they're not gonna stick on the parchment paper and this recipe will make about five small sausage patties. I bake these in my air fryer for 15 minutes on 360 degrees, but I will also put oven instructions down below for you guys as well. While that is cooking, we are going to make the tofu eggs. I like to use this high protein tofu because you don't have to press it. It's super, super firm, so it doesn't have a lot of excess water in it. We're just gonna cut this into three little chunks so that they're not too thick but also not too thin and then what I did was I just took a cup so that I could make a round tofu egg patty. You just want to press it through the tofu until it separates and these are perfect for the little breakfast muffins that we're going to be using for this recipe. So to make this really bougie, you do not have to do this. I do, I don't do this whole process every time, but this is Kala Namak. It's black salt. It has high sulfur in it, so it actually really smells like eggs and makes things taste like eggs. If you combine that with a little bit of turmeric, paprika, and some soy sauce, I just made like a little paste and basically just kind of put it on the tofu patties to give it some color and the flavor of an egg. You don't have to do that. Like I said, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I'll just sprinkle the Kalanamak on it and that's good enough. We're gonna be using these Ezekiel sprouted muffins and what I like about these is that they're whole grain, they're super healthy. This whole recipe is oil free. So this one is an oil-free version. I put avocado on it for me. Derek really likes to have melted cheese on his, so I just used some of the chow cheese from Field Roast. Threw that on there for him. Once our breakfast patties are done, they're going to look like this. They're really, really good, you guys. Try and make them. Even if you don't make the sandwich, make these breakfast patties. They're legit. We're just gonna put those on there, and then what I did is I just popped them back into my air fryer for a few minutes to make everything kind of crispy and make the cheese melt together.